Good lord. Yo, this thing is unbelievably cool. And it's flat to the ground. Too cool. And look at the wagon. It's always about the wagons. God, this is so good. <laughs> oh, look at this. I think it's so good. With the tan inside. Alright, this might be the best truck here. Wow, this is so good. Wow, this thing is gnarly. And then this thing. Dude, this thing is nuts. And he bought it in California and drove it across country back to Florida. If I haven't said a little bit, I love America. I love Florida. Because we have just the most absurd, ridiculous, nonsense vehicles. And I love it. And it's all legal. And it makes me happy. Or it's all legal. It's fine. It's Florida. It don't matter. So much cool stuff. Oh, I found a Volkswagen. I thought for a second I might have the only Volkswagen here. Definitely the only newer Volkswagen, but I found a Beetle next to this thing. <laughs> Not bad. And then this thing. Good lord. These are massive. I could fit in these. Good lord. For reference, the floor of this car is almost to the roof of that car. Oh, it's for sale too. And for sale. I need no more cars, but I need a Beetle. There it is. So all in the same 15 feet, we have bone stock Beetle to lifted this to pro street car and then bagged and Sansi. All in a matter of 15 feet. Every aspect of car from this to this to that. Love this show. You know, I was just thinking, I don't have a NASCAR yet. And it says make offer. I could use me a NASCAR. Me and a Cletus can cruise around Florida in our NASCARs. Oh, this thing is cool. This thing is 40 feet long and it's amazing. I need me a truck like this. Another car I would love to have Lincoln Continental. And this is actually on Rotiforms, funny enough. Lincoln Continental. This thing's got an LS turbo in it. Wow, okay. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Lincoln Continental, suicide doors. This one's black on black. This car is 40 feet long. And it's got an LS turbo in it. What is going on? Again, I love Florida. I got him. <laughs> this man's cruising around in a porta potty. God, I love Florida. <laughs> I need something that has fins in the back. God, it's so good. Everything here is so good. 
this, backing up to a rat rod, backing up to this and this. And this is diesel swap making like 600 horsepower. Everything here is cool. Look how good this wagon looks. And the coolest part, keep the badge on the grill. So I can only assume it's a Hellcat swap. So 6.2 supercharged in the wagon. It's always about the wagons. I keep saying it, but it's just the wagons are so good all the time. Just a couple of dogs out here. <laughs> Doesn't get any more Florida than that. All right, good morning. The weather is absolutely perfect today. We're heading back over to Daytona. We're gonna be with John and Kayla, uh, Jerome, D. Hade, all those guys. This weekend is the annual Turkey Rod Run Car Show in Daytona. I haven't been to this show in probably six years since I left Florida, um, but by far one of the best events of all time because as you saw from last night the little like, after show every single type of vehicle you can imagine is there from like full-blown six second drag cars on the streets with parachutes to rock crawlers to r32s to lincoln's that everything you can possibly imagine comes out of this show and it is so cool to see this the wide variety of cars that comes out so today we're going to the infield the actual show portion of the rod run and uh there's a huge swap meet so i'm gonna try and find some parts try and find some good stuff they used to sell euro plates there a long time ago i bought some um, but maybe get lucky find some cool parts in there some cool cars but it's gonna be a fun day for sure and as you saw from last night there's just so many just ridiculous cars everywhere and it's it's so much fun to see just a little uh little freedom Ooh, a little freedom in the morning you know Oh, sounds I need a car that chops like that a hundred percent just sounds so good Yeah, any one of those a lot of this beautiful brown uh, Mercedes 190 I think it is but it's on the craziest wheels. I'm gonna show you look how gnarly these wheels are. Oh the Ronalds These things are beautiful. Oh, and it's for sale too 1985 190 Wow, this thing is sick. And they're like three spokes, but kind of not, but they are. Oh, this is so cool. I want these wheels. I want these wheels. Imagine you cut these, made them three piece. Woo! I want these wheels. I want the whole car, but I really want the wheels. So this one has a little rubber cover you pull out, which I'm not gonna touch, but this one it's missing. But it's actually a whole key to remove the center cap. I, I need a set of these. I don't know what they came on, but I need a set of these wheels ASAP. Look at that. How cool is that? An actual key lock for the center cap. And then this is the little like rubber grommet you pull out to cover it up. I need a set of these. So for anyone who's never seen it, we are standing on Daytona Speedway. Super cool track. And the whole show is on the infield. So I don't know exactly how many square footage the swap meet is, but it's all all of that there is literally all of the parts here and i love me some parts i mean I could use that what is that i see the logo oh these are probably something newer it has a whole back that's kind of cool i don't know what they're for though say no name so majority of the stuff here will be for american cars but there is some Volkswagen stuff you can find and uh we're gonna try and find it. So aside from all the parts, just about every single car and truck in this section is all for sale. People come here with like, ready to buy. Parts, cars, like everything. Oh wow. I'm not the biggest Alpha fan, but if I was, this is the sign I would need. This thing's giant. Where's the Volkswagen one? That's what I've always wanted. Dude, this thing is awesome. I kinda want it just cause this is cool. So the guy with the massive Alpha sign just told me there's a guy in row 42 who happens to have a Volkswagen sign. Don't know if I can afford it, but we're going to try and find it. Another precision and then some sort of supercharger here. They got all the goodies out here. 
all the goodies out here. What's crazy is you could come here, buy a shell, and build the entire car. Suspension, engine, interior, everything. Just parts you find here. It's crazy how much stuff is here. Like anything and everything you can imagine, they've got it here. What do we got back here? Some saw blades. Looks like a full set of the nine and a half, which is really hard to fit in a Mark III. You want a full set of the eight and a half, makes it much easier to fit, but definitely cool wheels. I really like the uh, the color on this one. It's like a deep purple. And it could be yours for 12 9 That's unfortunate. It's so clean though. This whole booth has like cars turned into furniture. So this is a bed. We've got a couch. A little hall table thing. It's kind of cool. I've seen the Mark III front ends and one guy who made an R32 into a desk. This is cool. A little hall table on this thing. This thing is killer. Big body wagon for sale. 1969 Kingswood. 18 grand I don't have, but I wish I did. Right next to the Beetle. This thing's cool too. 8,500. This whole section right here, it feels like you've gone like back in time. All the old gas pumps, look at this stuff. Oh, it's a Beetle too. Like straight back in time. Everything through here is all the old logo stuff, the original stuff. That, I mean, the Bitcoin thing's not, but the rest of the stuff is. Oh, I'm seeing logos for dealerships. I need, where's the Volkswagen one? Am I close? Oh, it's an S one. That's kind of cool. This stuff is so cool. Where is my boat flying sign? Elephant kerosene. This thing's thick. With the plates down here. Florida, Massachusetts. Ronald has a uh, seen better days. This is cool though. Yeah. The pump. I got a lot of 76. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. This one's cool. I like that one a lot. But where are the Volkswagen ones at? This guy here has a ton of cool signs. This golf one right here. This is the like the light up one. This thing's huge. And a bunch of they have like a massive ones over here. This is like six foot tall. Good lord. <laughs> this thing is so deep. It make for a beautiful coffee table. Ooh, what is this? Or oh, a car back? It looks like out of the Mark II, the trophies. I wish I had the full seat. That's kind of cool to see. Oh, you said you'll sell all. I want to see these over here. I wanted to take that one off that motor and put on my rail buggy because it was chrome like some of the other. Right, about the chrome? I need these tires though, actually. Yeah, 195, 415. I need the tires off these actually. I know I'm going to get about four or five of these, but they're bigger. So I came across this import car manual 92 to 96. There's a E36 M3, a super, I'll say a boxer motor, but way back here at section 18, Volkswagen. And on the first page, bam, the R6. But it has like Mark 1 through, I'm not sure how far it goes, but it shows like all the basics pretty much of like taking the head off. Uh, doing the clutch, a bunch of just, I don't know, interesting stuff. The front end, suspension, pistons, kind of cool. This whole table 
There's Volkswagens. Look at that one on three spokes. I should think I have that one. I have a pretty decent collection still. I reckon I'll take the one up front. Okay. All Volkswagens. These are sick. Yeah, there's uh, all the Hot Wheels here. These things are so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna need one of these. But which one do we want? That was all cool. He has so many. That was cool. And that one's cool. They're all cool. Any favorites I can help you find? Oh, that one's good Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna need one or two or yeah. maybe all of these. Oh, that one's got a mark. Ooh. I love me a Beetle, but I also love me, oh, look at that, Mark II GTI. Dang. I'm gonna have to go through all these. Oh, Mark II Jetta. That's mine. That'll be mine. <laughs> I'm gonna go through all these. There's another whole section. So many cool ones in here. So I found two or three of the large ones over there that I wanna get for sure. I found an 87 Mark II Jetta, funny enough. Um, there's a Wolfsburg one with the GTI, the Jetta, and a Cabrio. And then I'm trying to find a small one over here. Oh, that one's cool. This one, this one. Ooh, this one's cool. The rally one. I don't need them all, but I want every one of these ones. He said he's been doing this for like 15 years collecting. And is going around doing shows like this. And he has so much cool artwork. I like this one. I'm gonna go broke here because I want I want the whole stack honestly. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go broke in here. So I did my very best to control myself, but I bought four of the posters. I wanted to buy all of them, but it'll get expensive very, very quickly. When I get back to the car, I'll show you, but these things are sick. I love brochures and OG stuff, and this is cool. I'm not sure who owns this bus, but we got Mutt's Nuts and your pink experience. Definitely recognize this one. I'm not sure who owns it, though. I tell you guys what, the amount of stuff that I want versus the amount of money that I have, it is uh, just not adding up. So we're going to get out of the swap meet section and go to the car show section. Well, this is the uh, the car show sign, and it's all the way from that side of the track to that side of the track. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Tell you what, it don't get much more America than this right here. Not gonna lie, there is way too many cars here. And I believe every car in here was $70 to park in here. So uh, yeah, they made some money. But there's, there's too many cars. I don't know where to go or what to look at. I want to show how wide the back of this car is. And you can see down there to the tires. <laughs> and these are street cars. This is stupid. I love it. All right, so this next car has been around for, I think, quite a long time. I've seen it before, and I still don't quite know what's going on, but it's what's left of a Geo Tracker. And I just don't know what's happening here. I just don't know. There's just so many things on top of other things. So this car's been around for a while, and I've seen it before. And it's what's left of a Geo Tracker. 
but it's nuts. That's it. You said someone would call me back in about an hour to work in the place of pocket. Like I just don't know. There's a blower. And I think there's carburetors down there, and there's a supercharger. And there's nitrous lines and everywhere. And there's just so much stuff going on, and there's four tanks in the room. <laughs> Yeah, there's just I don't I don't know. There's just so many things. So many things. know what freedom sounded like it's that and this thing is flat to the ground like I said I need something that sounds like that as that is look at the cabrio sorry about that but this this is cool it isn't chopped like that but look at the cabrio oh i want this oh i definitely want this What's the price? What are you thinking? 25000 that I do not have, but I want it. On some sparkle wheels. This thing is clean. No lie, I might be calling it quit soon. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and there's just like, I think they said like 6,000 cars. I can't see all this. I want to find like one or two more cool Volkswagens and then we're, we're probably out of here. Okay, found my first one. Looks like a thing. Ooh, and I found the next one. Volkswagen Brasilia. And this thing looks stupid clean. This thing is ridiculously clean. What's the price in this? Let's see. 24.9? Well, second Brazilian, 1978. Dude, this thing is insanely clean. What in the world? Oh, what a good find. This thing is perfect. Like this, the Brazilias are so cool. We never got them in the States. Oh, this thing is so good. Yeah, Brasilia. All right, listen, I need $25,000 ASAP because I need this. What a good find today. I actually can't get over how just insanely clean this car is and the green is perfect on it. Look at it in the sun. This thing is perfect. Brazilia LS and the best green I've ever seen. Minus the Pink Floyd. I need this, I really do. All right, one last look, boys and girls. Take it all in. Oh, it's perfect. Oh no. This one's sold, and I was just gonna buy it too. You know you hate to see it. 
I was just gonna buy this one and it sold. Unfortunate. I found John. Well, here I started on legit that side of the stadium and now I'm on the far side here. But John's parked up over here and I'm not gonna show it. He'll show it on his channel so I have to go watch his video. But he picked up some three spokes. You can see a corner right there, just a little bit, but oh, I'm jealous. You got them over Friday, but they're, they're sick. I don't know how they're going to fit yet. Listen, if they don't fit, I'll take mine for hand because I love three spokes. Not for this car, though. Not for this car, his other, his Honda EF. I'll say that at least. Yeah. But Corvette's showing over here, and I forgot, there's this whole entire section of just like, this is like the more like rat rod, air ride, everything's low over here. And I missed this whole section, but the car is there, and I don't know, I might walk through there, but it's also... There's so many cars. There's 6,000 cars here, if not more. Whew. We might do a quick session through here yeah. just to see a few more things and then probably, then we want to get food because I am hungry. So, there's a term that they call it. You ever watch that old like, yeah. Everything here is slammed and rusty. And I love it. This is Matt's beautiful truck on the wheels he just got done. And these things are ridiculous with the bikes in the back now. And then Mr. Jonathan D. Haight and his beautiful Beetle. Alone in the corner, just holding it down. So good. So simple, so good. Okay, I know I've said I'm done a hundred times and the camera's probably gonna die, but this section right here might go the hardest. Look at this lineup. Everyone's flat. Look at this thing. Okay, we are finally back in the car. I'm hot, I'm tired. I saw probably two percent of what was there sadly though not as many Volkswagen parts as in previous years um but when I show you the brochures I got like little magazine cutouts so worth it so worth it and then I wanted to show more like the slam section all the bag and rat rods um but the GoPro died took a few photos you guys already saw those but there's a, there's too many there's six thousand plus cars and they're all look cool and I would have to film a six hour video to show everything so Hopefully, even though these cars aren't everyone's style, you still enjoyed it. Cause I mean, there's just so much cool stuff rolling around. Like everything just so, so cool. So I'm gonna show you the uh, brochures I got real fast and then probably end up this video. I went to food after this with all the guys, but I don't know if I'll film anymore. The GoPro's at like 1%, it's currently plugged into the car and I don't want this video to be like 65 years long. So this might be the end. All right, let me show you my prized possessions of the day. Number one, 1987. Volkswagen Jetta. Look how awesome this is. So all these are out of like old magazines and just brochures in the dealership. So it has all this like writing about the car, but this is the first one. 87 Jetta, which of course will go on my 87 Jetta. Next one, look at this. Mark one Jetta Coupe. And look at the price, 83.90, back when this was brand new. That's crazy. But Beetle score there. Next up, had to, had to have the Rally Beetle. This thing is just, too too cool now these are all the small ones i got now on to the big ones look at this introducing the 86 wolfsburg limited edition volkswagens jetta golf and the cabrio what a cool lineup i don't know if this one's a full Pirelli edition i think it is because it has the on the wheels and the red line up here either way super super cool piece there and last but not least and bam another 1987 volkswagen jetta small bumpers like my car but the bigger moldings what i have but still another these are so cool you guys know i love collecting this kind of stuff and like i mean these are so good the beetle had to do it and the guy had probably a hundred in this size and a hundred in the big size i couldn't buy them all because it adds up very quickly um he had golf he had mark ones nothing past mark two um but then he had beetle he had some scirocco stuff also rabbit truck stuff yeah this is definitely my uh my amazing score of the day this one's so cool and to find like an actual 87 ad for my 87 is just awesome so if you see the mark ii at a show i'll have this in the car all framed up and it'll be a nice little piece uh with the mark ii all right so gonna end this video here 
It's been a very long day. This video has been far long enough. We're going to um, Iron Horse now for some food and stuff. There's more stuff to film, but again, this video has been too long, and I don't just want to film everything possible. Um, if you've never been to the Turkey Run in Daytona, I highly, highly suggest it. Um, probably the most variety at any show I've ever been to. Like I said, there's like 6,000 plus cars, and there's everything from donks to dragsters to Volkswagens to there's a little bit of everything, so it's a great time. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you haven't been, you should go. But get on this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget, be thankful for a single day. See you guys next time. Peace.